Attention, don't skip, because there's some serious talk happening behind the scenes, and it's all about you, specifically your looks. Two people are deep in conversation, and trust me, it's not your typical small talk. And guess what? It's all about there's an intriguing aura surrounding you, something about your appearance that's sparking conversations. Stick around because it's about to unveil the secret lingering in the air, and it's bound to leave you intrigued and guessing. Your looks have become the subject of conversation, complete with unexpected twists, turns, and a hint of mystery that will captivate you from beginning to end. A magnetic personality doesn't necessarily indicate a good heart, says the father. Is this true about you? Father has something to say about your personality today. Comment, yes, if you believe in God and do help support us through Super Chat or watching this video completely. A cosmic message has reached you. Two people engaged in conversation are enthusiastically praising your charm and appearance. They find themselves utterly mesmerized by the radiance of your personality, eagerly seeking to unravel the secret behind your captivating aura. Your exceptional attributes, including a resilient mindset, ambitious nature, and innate leadership skills, set you apart from the crowd. Additionally, your looks add to the allure that surrounds you. It's not just your physical appearance that captivates them. Your steadfast and determined demeanor is what truly makes a lasting impression. Before moving forward, your angels wants to tell you something about your near future. There's a crucial aspect you're overlooking, the need for self-appreciation and celebration. Instead of recognizing your worth and accomplishments, you're fixated on what's missing, particularly a person from your past. You've placed undue importance on this individual, believing that their return is essential for your happiness. Yet, despite your numerous achievements and favorable circumstances, you're preoccupied with their absence, neglecting gratitude for what you do have. It seems there's someone in your vicinity with whom you're constantly at odds. This persons tend to provoke clashes and arguments, as their strong ego and pride make them difficult to deal with. They exhibit an all-or-nothing attitude, becoming confrontational and seeking to shift blame if things don't go their way. Their arrogance and stubbornness are off-putting, and you find their energy disagreeable. This person seems to be grappling with their own issues and running from their responsibilities. They struggle with change and avoid facing their problems, often resorting to reckless behavior. Despite their avoidance, they keep encountering reminders of you, as if the universe is pushing them to confront their issues. You, on the other hand, have been focused on personal growth and healing. Your mature and grounded energy contrasts sharply with their chaotic and avoidant behavior. You've reached a level of contentment and self-love that makes this connection less significant to your overall happiness. However, this person seems to be spiraling further into negativity, using substances to numb their pain and avoiding any form of self-reflection. They're caught in a cycle of avoidance and denial, unable to face their own triggers and ego. Despite their attempts to run from you and their own healing, they're constantly reminded of your presence. This person is guided to you, not necessarily for romantic purposes, but because you represent the catalyst for their growth and healing. Your mere presence triggers their need for change, yet they're too afraid to confront it. As they continue to avoid you and their own issues, they only dig themselves deeper into a cycle of karmic turmoil. Despite their attempts to escape, they can't shake the reminders of you and the healing energy you embody. Their avoidance and refusal to confront their own issues only exacerbate their situation, leading them further down a dark path of self-destruction. They're ashamed of their behavior and don't know how to communicate with you, further complicating the situation. Now a secret from your angels. Having the right vehicle to carry you, you are speeding toward victory. You are like a chariot. The chariot is a symbol of victory through mental control. The feeling of this message reminds us of an athlete poised for the starting gun. When the signal comes, he or she hits the ground running. The chariot is not about the security of castle and moat. No, the chariot represents an adventurous nature, a desire to seize the reins, a love of the open road. The sphinx-like steeds are anxious to lunge forward and be on their way. 
This card reminds you to use the powers of your mind to steer that wild excitement and focus the energy, because the urge to action is unstoppable. When you take up the reins of the charioteer, you assume the rapid rise of the culturally, psychologically, and technologically advanced and mobile individual, a world-class citizen. Someone in your life is attuned to divine wisdom. You may be in the presence of someone who understands his or her true purpose. This person knows why they are here. Rather than being controlled by outer events, this admirable being lives life from the inside out, centered in his or her mission and in harmony with life. Such an accomplished individual sets an example that you can emulate and achieve for yourself. Absorb the radiance of this glowing soul. As mystical imagination inspires you, learn what you can, but keep your wits about you. Now coming back to the message, your unique approach of pushing your limits suggests that with dedication, anything is achievable. Your attitude serves as a source of encouragement for those around you. Your unwavering dedication to success, coupled with a positive mindset, positions you as a beacon of inspiration. The looks you radiate isn't coincidental, it reflects your inner confidence and self-belief. You naturally embody leadership qualities, and others look up to you for guidance and motivation. The cosmos is bestowing its radiance upon you, presenting blessings and avenues for prosperity across all facets of existence. Your captivating looks effortlessly unlock opportunities and draw advantageous circumstances towards you. As you persist in displaying confidence and resolve, the universe will consistently harmonize with your aspirations, clearing the path for achievement and contentment. Your magnetic allure and captivating presence naturally draw individuals intrigued by the enigma of your achievements, your zestful outlook on life, and your knack for achieving any goal you pursue. The cosmos urges you to acknowledge your strengths and revel in your individuality rather than concealing your innate leadership skills and ambitious spirit. Let them radiate and motivate those in your sphere. Your talent for leading through action and surmounting obstacles holds the power to uplift others. As the universe continues to bestow its radiance upon you, remain authentic and steadfast in all your pursuits. The cosmos is directing you to embrace your inner strength and seize the opportunities presented to you, drawing in positive energy and favorable situations. Isn't about attaining perfection, it's about embracing your individuality and remaining faithful to your fundamental principles. When you have confidence in yourself and your capabilities, the universe reciprocates by unveiling new avenues and forging pathways toward success. Its radiant light serves as a beacon, illuminating the vast potential and influence you hold within. Embrace the allure of your appearance, reflecting the remarkable individual that you are. Let your optimistic energy emanate, attracting the abundance that life holds for you. As you evolve and experience growth, the cosmos remains a steadfast companion, providing assistance and direction along the way. Greatness awaits you, and the universe is paving the way for you to attain it. Trust in the journey unfolding before you and have faith in your capabilities. As the universe aligns in your favor, filling your life with its radiance and blessings, the angels are deep in discussion about how your energy, your presence, is making a lasting impression on the cosmos. Your actions, thoughts, and intentions collectively form an energetic signature that celestial forces perceive like a fragrant trail wafting through the spiritual realm. The angels are meticulously observing the nuances of this ethereal essence, adding an intriguing dimension to the cosmic conversation while also cautioning you about its potential implications. While they commend the positive vibrations you emit, there's a subtle warning about the importance of discernment. It seems that someone in the celestial realms may not be interpreting your energy with pure intentions. There's a presence seeking to influence the narrative of your energetic essence. As the angels convey this part of the message, it's crucial to understand that this is not a cause for fear but a call for heightened awareness. Your energy is a precious commodity in the cosmic dance, and the angels are urging you to safeguard it with conscious intent. Be mindful of the energies you allow into your space, for they can influence the appearance of your soul in ways you may not comprehend. Now envision this cosmic discussion as a live broadcast to your soul. 
The angels are speaking directly to you, unraveling the mysteries of the unseen realms with a message that transcends time and space. Can you feel the resonance of their words vibrating through your being as you absorb the celestial dialogue? Let the realization sink in. You are not alone in this journey. The angels, your celestial companions, are watching over you, providing love, guidance, and protection. This communication is more than just a message. It's a cosmic transmission designed to raise your awareness and lead towards alignment with the divine path. All the elements are converging to reveal a divine plan unfolding before you. If you believe that the next three days will usher in a deluge of blessings, miracles, and breakthroughs beyond your imagination, express your faith by typing 777. Be prepared for a supernatural transformation across all facets of your existence, from your career and finances to your well-being and relationships. Jesus declares, I have unlocked a door for you that is beyond anyone's ability to close, and nothing can hinder the divine blueprint set in motion for your life. Today, your father desires to narrate a tale depicting the celestial design intricately woven for your life's journey. The essence of the story is that true beauty lies not in outward appearances but in the goodness of one's heart and the integrity of one's character. It is the inner qualities of kindness, honesty, and compassion that truly define a person's worth in the eyes of God and others. In a world that can be challenging, God is your refuge and strength, a present help in times of trouble. It's important to acknowledge that everyone perceives beauty differently. Beauty is subjective, much like appreciating various works of art. Some may prefer bold colors, while others may be drawn to intricate details. Similarly, people's opinions about your looks will vary, and that's perfectly acceptable. Your angels encourage you to focus on how you feel about yourself rather than seeking validation externally. True beauty emanates from within, from your self-love, kindness, and inner light. When you radiate positivity and self-assuredness, you become magnetic, drawing others towards your beautiful energy. It's also crucial to understand that people's words and opinions reflect their own beliefs, experiences, and insecurities. Instead of taking their comments personally, show compassion and understanding, knowing that they may be on their journey of self-discovery. In moments of hurt or offense, connect with your guardian angels, who are always with you, providing love, guidance, and protection. They can help you find the strength to rise above negativity and embrace your true essence. Your worth is not determined by anyone else's opinions but your own. Celebrate your uniqueness, quirks, and imperfections, for they make you who you are, a one-of-a-kind masterpiece. Your angels remind you that your inner beauty shines brightly when you express love, kindness, and authenticity. Surround yourself with people who uplift and support you for who you are inside and out. Choose companions who appreciate your true beauty and encourage you to be your authentic self. Practice self-care and self-love daily, nurturing your body, mind, and soul. Prioritize self-care to enhance not only your physical appearance but also your inner peace and well-being. If negative comments about your looks affect your self-esteem, consider seeking guidance from a therapist or counselor. They can help you build resilience and cope with criticism in healthy ways. Trust in your guardian angel's wisdom and guidance as you embrace your true essence and shine your light in this world. Remember that you are a unique and beautiful creation of the divine, deserving of love, kindness, and beauty. You in the earth, who told you that no one is perfect, was that a thought from me? Was it a God-breathed inspiration? No, it was not. When I said in my word, be perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect, I released all the grace and power you need to see it done in your life. It is not up to you in your own efforts or ability. I am the Father inside you, doing the work to bring you forth in my image, with my character and my perfection intact as your personal testimony. When the enemy of your soul tears you down and demeans your prospects, hold my word up as the shield for your faith. When life, circumstance, or other people trash your dreams and visions, make up your mind then and there that you will believe the good report. All things are possible. I am the God living inside you, 
for whom nothing is impossible. That is who I am, therefore in me, that is who you are. You are the earthly reflection of my heavenly image. You are the image bearer of the invisibility of my glory. Yield to that glory. Embrace that glory. Wrap your faith around that glory and see my perfection become your manifest portion in life. So walk in my perfection and express my perfection even in the midst of your blatant and obvious imperfections. Know who you are. Receive my love. Abide in me daily. Walk in faith and embrace the risks by which mountains are moved and destiny realized. Obey me in all things even when you don't understand, or for that matter, agree. Be transparent and honest, for as it has been said, I am more interested in relationship than I am in respect. When you walk in my perfection, you will experience a life of joy, peace, and fulfillment. You will be a blessing to others and make a difference in the world. So today, my beloved child, choose to walk in my perfection. It is your destiny. The Father says today, my spirit is moving in your situation to shed light on the deceptions that the enemy has sought to weave into your life. I am bringing forth in glaring illumination the secrets that have been hidden in darkness and ensuring that they are proclaimed loudly, resonating from the very depth of your being. The enemy's strategy is to entangle you in disappointment and overwhelm you with frustration. However, I implore you to redirect your focus away from people and circumstances, fixing your gaze firmly upon me, your loving Father. It is inevitable that people will let you down, and situations may bring forth frustration. But I urge you not to place your trust solely in human strength. Instead, trust in the word that I have planted deep within your heart. My love for you is unwavering. I will never forsake you or disregard your pleas for help. My beloved child, do you truly trust me? If you do, then allow me to step in and take control of every aspect of your life. I will guide you from where you currently are to a place of victory and abundant blessings. The promises I have made in your life are the very catalyst for the breakthrough you yearn for. In this journey, it is crucial that you do not invest your energy or initiative into anything or anyone that contradicts the promises I have spoken over your life. The enemy seeks to isolate you, to cut you off from the vital resources that will lead you on the path to breakthrough. Therefore, I encourage you, dear one, to test the spirits around you. True discernment is not fueled by suspicion or doubt, masked as religious behavior. Rather, it is rooted in love, which casts out all fear. It is a perfect love that is unconditional and brings rest to your weary soul. Enter into the rest that I have lovingly prepared for you. As part of this process, it is important to forgive those whom you hold anger against. Release those you have unjustly judged in your thoughts. Remember, dear one, that all humanity is prone to evil, and wickedness can manifest in every action. However, I offer you cleansing and redemption at the foot of the cross. There, I will set you free and bring you to a place of renewed and vibrant purification. Let go of the need to be right and release the demand for justice that does not align with the principles of my kingdom. Surrender these burdens to me and I will bear them for you. I am here for you, ready to expose the deceptions of the enemy and lead you into a life of victory and blessings. Trust in me, lean on me and allow me to guide you through every step of your journey. Embrace the rest and freedom that come from forgiving others and surrendering your burdens at the cross. Together, we will overcome the enemy's schemes and walk in the fullness of the life I have prepared for you. The Father says today, I know your heart, and I understand the anxiety and fear you are feeling about the uncertainty of the future. Know that because you live in a fallen environment, the spirit of Leviathan swims through the waters of prideful fallen humanity all around you and you will face challenges and obstacles that may seem insurmountable. However, I want to assure you that your tomorrows are in good hands. As the sovereign God of the universe, I fully control everything, including your life. Nothing taking place in your life is beyond my reach or my power to address, shift and bring deliverance. Trust me, cry out to me, let your mouth pray, 
Even though you may not be able to see it now, I have a good plan for your future. I am a God of abundance and life, and want to give you the best. Encourage your heart. Lift your head up. Set your expectations high. Dream big, and believe that I can do anything. When your hopes are dashed and distractions surround you, turn to my word. It serves as a template for your life, providing guidance and wisdom. Meditate on my word, and let it shape your expectations for the future. Remember, this is a time for action, not just waiting. I have already equipped you with everything you need to succeed. Now, it is up to you to take action, and put my word into practice. Through your faith and belief in me, you will witness amazing results. I am no respecter of persons. What I have done for others, I can certainly do for you. There is no need to hesitate in believing that I can do great things in your life. Trust in my power and my love for you, and you will see remarkable transformations. So, as you face uncertainty or obstacles, remember that I am in control. Trust in my plan. Set your expectations high and take action, guided by my word. Your future is bright, and with my guidance, you will overcome any challenges that come your way. The Father says today, I am with you, I am in you. I am all around you, surrounding you with my favor, love, protection, and guidance in times of difficulty. I know that you are facing many challenges. Your life, family situation, and other aspects of life are full of turmoil and uncertainty. Never forget or take your mind off the fact that I am with you. I am your God and will never leave or forsake you. In the midst of all the chaos and confusion, draw on my limitless strength and refuse to be entangled in the circumstance by leaning on your own understanding and resources. Do not give in to the temptation to be afraid or discouraged. Remember that I have already overcome the world. And because I live in you, you have also overcome the world. The enemy's primary goal is to distract you. He knows that if he can keep you distracted, he can keep you from walking in my will. But I want to assure you that I am here to guide you and protect you. When you feel lost or confused, come to me in prayer. I will show you the way. And when you feel weak and discouraged, I will give you strength. Surrender your weariness to me. Never grow frustrated or impatient with well-doing. Even when things are difficult, don't give up on walking in my simplicity. Those around you may try to tell you that you need to be complex and sophisticated in order to be spiritual. I want to assure you that the opposite is true. Simplicity is your portion. Simplicity is your deliverance. I'm a simple savior with all the answers you need to find yourself in the yoke, easy and the burden light I have set before you. Come as a little child. Let me hold you in my arms. Let me fill you with my love and my peace. And know that I am always with you, no matter what you are facing. The Father says today, make my presence your priority. As you make a determinate and conscious choice to seek the kingdom above every other consideration, I will generously bless your life with the desires of your heart. I have a magnificent plan for you, filled with joy and blessings that might seem like fiction. But it's not it, is the reality of living and breathing and having your life bounded by and surrounded by my glory, power and kingdom strength. I intend to bring you into a state of abundant fulfillment where your deepest desires and dreams become a reality daily. This is the essence of our relationship, my child. I am a loving and caring God who desires to shower you with goodness. Brush aside any religious misconceptions or doubts that may have hindered your belief in my promises. I am a good God, and my goodness knows no bounds when it comes to you. Let go of your feeble plans and strategies, as they are futile attempts to comprehend how I will bring about the remarkable things I have in store for you. Instead, I urge you to find rest in me. Simply surrender to my care and protection. Let today be characterized by rejoicing and praise, for I assure you, I've got this, no longer should you settle for a mediocre existence. The Father says today timidity and fear are going in boldness, audacity, and faith unfeigned are calling you up into a place of perfect love, because love never fails, thus you will not fail. You see, 
Perfect love casts out all fear, my beloved. Through the work of the cross, I have brought perfect love into every aspect of your life. It is through this perfect love that I am perfecting what you have committed to me. Relinquish any expectations in your heart that go against my promises. Trust me, for I am leading you towards the fulfillment of your highest heart's desires and dreams. I haven't said no, and I have not excluded you, nor have I denied you. Make it your now determination to free yourself from the chains of unfounded fear and deny its hold on your life. The past accomplishments I have brought forth in your life are merely the beginning of a season of great fruitfulness. Are you ready to experience a catch so abundant that the nets cannot contain? Are you ready for your words and actions to carry the same power as if I spoke and acted? You are standing on the threshold of a new entitlement, a new experience of the blessings that flow from the cross. These entitlements are manifesting themselves in your healing, your spiritual well-being, your relationships, and even in your finances. Embrace this season, step up boldly, and indulge in the richness of life. I have sent forth my blessings, my worthy portion, and they are meant for you to receive. Have faith, for by spending your faith, you are investing in the currency of the kingdom, a currency that surpasses anything earthly means can offer. Remember, I am with you always, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. This is a time of blessings, my child. Embrace it fully, for it belongs to you. Trust in me, for I am faithful to bring all that I have promised to pass in your life. The Father says today, from the place of renewed intimacy and experience of my glory, is coming to your life a beautiful transformation, like a spinning dance of growth and discovery. My word is coming to a place of amplification in your spirit, even as Adam and Eve experienced my following, when they heard my voice walking in the cool of the day. I am walking in the garden of your inner man, that you might find me, and seek me, and step into a new profound level of relationship that is yours to know and enjoy by my determinate will. There is a sound, a resonance of my sound and my voice, that will begin to permeate your life. In your study of the scriptures, you will come across the passage where they heard my voice walking in the cool of the day. Even so, I am walking by my word and my voice in the inner man of your spirit that I've created as my dwelling place. So dig deeper so you can understand this as the sound of my wind and my word whirling on the breezes of your inner man. I have instilled within you a spirit that resonates much like a tuning fork. At this pivotal point in your life, I choose to step closer to you and pluck the strings of your inner man so that my sound, my voice and my song will come forth, be known, and set many free with the freedom wherewith this day I make you free. As a result, you will hear my sound and, in turn, emit my sound, and the effects of miracles and answered prayer will be tangible. Just as certain sounds can shatter glass or evoke physical reactions, you will shed burdens that have clung to you, causing remarkable transformations in your presence. Prepare yourself, my beloved child, for when you enter a room, people will take notice. There may even be instances where someone, seemingly put together, but secretly struggling with a demonic stronghold, will undergo a physical reaction that draws attention from everyone around. Recognize this as an opportunity, for demons are like unruly children seeking attention. With a simple command from you, shut up and come out, you will demonstrate my divine power. My hand is ready to manifest in your life in a unique and powerful way. Do not be surprised if these extraordinary encounters occur outside of traditional church settings. They may arise as you go about your everyday activities, simply being yourself. An angel of change will accompany you, initiating transformations in those around you. And you will carry the radiance of my glory, where in the past was nothing but disappointment and failure. The Father says today, I am doing a complete work in your past, present and future. My spirit is actively working in your past, bringing liberty and healing to every broken area of your life, from the fractures and abuses of the past. You felt insecure and unsafe, even in your skin, and I've seen that, says God. I understand the need for emotional security, so be assured that I am concerned 
and moving with the gentle hand of a shepherd, resolving the conflicts, stilling the nightmares and threats of the enemy that have touched every aspect of your being, your heart, mind, and trust. You are safe, says God in my hands. You are safe and secure. When you feel panic and anxiety taking over, say this to yourself, I am safe. I am secure in my father's capable hands. The enemy, the circumstance, and the situation may churn and boil around you to the point all seems lost. But beloved, be assured that nothing and no one can pluck you out of my loving care. Your life is hidden in me, protected and shielded from the challenges and uncertainties of the world. So much so, that the enemy is blinded like those who grope to find the door when the angels visited Lot in Sodom. They are seeking to gain access, but I have blinded their ambitions and turned them instead against each other so that you won't have to fight them, but witness their removal from your life by their misguided efforts. The father says, time for you to soar, time for you to fly, like a bird in flight, encapsulated in a bubble of my presence, love, peace, and faithfulness. You are ascending in worship that you might descend in warfare, witnessing the enemy's total defeat in every area of your life. People, forgive them. Forgive, release, bless, move on. Even though people may disappoint you at times, you can rest assured that you will not be shaken because your trust is firmly placed in that Christ anointing, my indwelling presence on the inside of you. Be confident and be assured, says the Father. You will rest deeply and live confidently, knowing that my embrace and protection encompass every part of your life. This is your season to experience the freedom that comes from finding your identity in me. As you continue your journey, remember the truth of my promises. Doubt your doubts and embrace my sure word that has gone out over you but the prophets. Embrace healing, restoration and security, knowing you are anchored in my unwavering love. Your past does not define you. It becomes a testimony of the redemptive initiative of grace and power that is flowing down to you from my throne and filling you with those things necessary to reshape your entire existence. Walk confidently and joyfully this day and every day going forward, knowing that your life is hidden in me and that I will never fail you. The Father says today, let your mouth pray. Put more energy into prayer then you do all the vain, unenlightened tactics of the flesh that only make matters worse in your life. I say again, let your mouth pray. E embrace the power of prayer. Every word you utter in prayer is valuable and holds significance in the eyes of the divine. Allow your mouth to be a vessel of prayer, for it is through prayer that you align your desires with my will and desires. When you pray, your words ascend as fragrant incense before the throne of the Almighty, establishing an atmosphere of connection. Never underestimate the profound effect your prayers can have. The enemy may attempt to downplay prayer as an act of desperation, but I assure you, it is a transformative catalyst in your life. Through prayer, you can transcend the ordinary and step into the realm of the miraculous. Let your mouth utter prayers with passion and conviction and watch as mountains crumble and barriers tremble before you. No challenge or obstacle in your life is too insurmountable for the fervent prayers offered at the altar of your faith. Prayer has the power to turn my promises into tangible results and over the top outcomes in your life. The angels assigned to you from the moment of your birth eagerly listen for your prayers, ready to bring them before my throne with anticipation. Don't let a lack of prayerfulness Leave your assigned angel standing empty-handed before God. Know that I am always ready and willing to hear your prayers. I am inclined and disposed to answer you. My default response to your pleas is a resounding yes, always yes, and amen. There is no obstacle too great that leaves me unwilling to overcome it in order to meet your needs. The cross of Calvary stands as a testament to the lengths I am willing to go to help you in your moments of greatest desperation. Let your words of connection and surrender to my spirit bring about the transformation, miracles, and breakthroughs you seek. Your breath in prayer is never wasted. It is a divine invitation for me to show up and work wonders in your life. Trust in my faithfulness and unwavering love, 
as you engage fervently in sacred act of prayer.